Okay, so symbols and diagrams. So there are two types of symbols in which we are going to use no? or accepted internationally for motor controllers. So we have the NEMA and the IEC. So as um, electrical practitioners, so you must be familiar with the two standards. So we have here the first no symbols so this is to limit switches so the NEMA so this is these are the symbols so normally close so this is the symbol for normally close for normally open so as you can see the swing is open so that's why it is normally open for IEC so this is these are the symbols so normally close and normally open then we have the selector switch so these are for the NEMA so two positions and three positions so the symbol will accompany with a table no? the truth table for the selector switch so if you select one no? for this the two position so the uh, letter B or the the terminal B will have a connection with one if you select two so the A will have the connection. No? So that is the how you will read that to table for a selector switch. So these are this is also these are also the symbol for uh, IEC, no? selector switch for IEC. Next we have the push buttons. So we have the illuminated, momentary, then um, normally close and normally open the mushroom head normally close the mushroom head normally open so these are the symbols so this the, uh, this one is illuminated so we have a symbol for a light so normally close as you can see this is a symbol for normally close meaning at if the button is not push then this switch is closed so meaning it is on so if you want to disconnect this switch or if you want to turn off the circuit which is connected to the switch so you will push that one so the normally close will now become open so for normally open so this is, is the symbol so as you can see there is no connection so therefore you must push this one in order to have a connection so that's why it is called normally open because the first state of that is normally open when you push the push button it will now become closed so for the mushroom head so we have only the mushroom here then the mushroom head are normally open so still the symbol has a somewhat arc no? so these are also the symbol for push buttons for IEC Okay. Next, we have the circuit breakers. No? So these are magnetic and thermal magnetic. These are the symbol. So for the IEC, the same. No? If it is magnetic or thermal magnetic, the symbol will be the same. The coil. No? So this is the symbol for the coil for NEMA. For IEC, it will be a rectangle. No? Then basic contacts, we have normally closed. So this is the symbol or this one for NEMA. So this, this is for IEC. Then for normally open, so this one. So as you can see, there is no um, slash here. So therefore, this is not connected. So normally open. For IEC, so this is the symbol. We have time delay contacts or the timer so for no, for normally close time close so the primary state is closed or on the on state so this is the symbol for NEMA or IEC this one so normally close or time open so this is for NEMA this is for um, IEC so normally open time close so we have here this one and this is for IEC normally open time open 
So this is the symbol, these are the symbols, and for IEC, this one. Okay, so we have also the symbol for ground, so the same, NEMA or IEC. Induction motor, single phase, so you have a two wires only. For induction motor, so for IEC, so you have the word M, then one with a sinusoidal wave. For three phase, so for NEMA, three wires. For IEC, you have the M, the three and the sinusoidal then indicating lights or bulb or pilot light so this will be the symbol so you just insert the color code inside the symbol so either it is uh, for green that is gr for red that will be rd for yellow that will be yl no that is the color code so for iec so this is the symbol so push to test so uh uh, light which require a push button also to light up so this will be the symbol so for meters so either it is a voltmeter or a meter or a frequency meter or a phase meter so this will be the symbol and you just only insert the code no? for example a meter so you will put a inside voltmeter you will put v so voltmeter ac so v with a sinusoidal below so the same with um, IEC and we have overload relays so these are the symbol so we have thermal element and magnetic element okay so for this is for NEMA and for IEC okay. so we now have the circuit diagram of a basic motor controller so this is a direct online motor controller so um a circuit of a motor control consists of two parts we have the power circuit and the control circuit so the power circuit will be the one to indicate how the power or the supply is connected to the motor so for like for this one this is the power circuit this is uh, uh this is drawn using the NEMA symbols so as you can see these are the contactors so the normally open contactors so these are the terminal for the supply these are the um load side terminals these are the overload relays and we have the terminals for the motor Okay, so this is also for IEC. No? Okay, so these are the, these are the symbols for the contactor, the contacts of the contactor. Then we have here the overload relay and the motor. So the power circuit will indicate how the supply is connected to the motor. So at this at this diagram, it is via the contactor but the contactor is normally open so what uh, what will drive now for the contactor to be on or to be closed so that will now will be the control circuit so the control circuit indicates how the contactor will be wired and what are the buttons and contacts that will serve as the control of the contactor so the contactor is controlling the motor the push buttons the auxiliary contacts the control relay are the one controlling the contactor so this is a symbol for the coil no, of the motor so we have here the overload relay this is a push button stop this is a push button start we have a normally open contact okay so in this state so this is called a ladder diagram no? ladder diagram so in uh, NEMA uh, the the diagram for control circuit is a ladder diagram so it is called a ladder diagram because we have uh, we will write our line one and line two as uh, vertical lines then our whole circuit will be 
serve on the horizontal line like a rung of a ladder so that's why it's called a ladder diagram so at this state as, as if you can say uh, c so if we are going to push the start button so the current will flow from this top because this top is normally closed so it is um connected then because we push the start then it will be connected so the current now will flow from line one going to the coil so when the coil is now supplied by a line one and a line two the coil will activate so what will happen to this contact so this contact will be normally closed or will be connected so once we release our start button so the the current now will flow on this um contact on the on the on this contact here which became normally closed once we push the start button so this part here the circuit is called the latching no the latching will serve as uh, as the as the um mechanism in which to hold the control of the contactor on the on state so if if it is already on the question now is how we are going to turn off the control circuit so we can push the start button again but it will just serve us to have two no two path for the current so same uh, same line with two wires no so it will have no effect so to turn off the control circuit we we'll just push the stop because if you are going to push the stop it will now disconnect no this line here will go down it will now disconnect so our contactor will be turned off the coil will be turned off because it will not be connected to a line one and a line two so our whole circuit will be turned off so once the contactor has been turned off then the motor also will be turned off so this diagram is the same this control circuit for direct online but this one is written on iec no so this is read from top to bottom so the the circuit or the control circuit for iec is written vertically and read from top to bottom so this will be our line one this will be our line two so this will be our push button so this will be our uh, latching contacts no? this will be our coil okay so i believe that will be all for this evening